Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about a product that is getting so much attention. I've literally seen it everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. Can a primer really lift your face? We're talking about the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Lift No Filter Primer. So let's get into it. This product has so many claims. When you get the little box, it has uh, before and after photos that are drastic, like drastic. So it is clinically proven. It has instant firm technology. 100% of subjects showed immediate skin firming results. So it maintains firming effect for up to six hours, reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles after just one week. So I can tell you, I've been using this now for a week. I use it underneath of the Dior Skin Glow Foundation. That's actually what I'm wearing right now. I love it. You can actually feel this product tightening your skin. I did see some mixed reviews, um, especially online on YouTube and TikTok. People saying that they felt like it was drying, they felt like it was like, the, your skin felt so tight that you couldn't move your face. There's some people that say they absolutely love it. And I feel like most of the reviews that I saw that were positive were women with mature skin. So women like me, I'm 45 years old. I do have fine lines and wrinkles. And I feel like this product is really, really good. It does say to apply it to clean skin. So without any of your moisturizer or anything um, underneath of it. Personally, I cannot do my makeup if I don't have my moisturizer and my skincare on. And I also wear sunscreen. So I did my entire lineup of skincare. I put on my sunscreen. So I use the Dermatology. This sunscreen is, this sunscreen's amazing. This is the Universal Tinted SPF 46. I've been using this for years. I cannot do my makeup without sunscreen underneath. I literally don't leave my house if I'm not wearing sunscreen. So I put everything on underneath of the primer. I think the thing is, is to let your skincare fully absorb before you go in with the primer and to use a small amount of the primer you do not need a lot. So I put on my skincare, I waited for about a half an hour, then I put on my sunscreen and I waited for a few minutes and then I put on the primer. I didn't have any pilling, I didn't have any issues at all. So again, watching other reviews, some people said they had issues with pilling. I think if you just really allow your products to absorb, then you won't have any issues with that at all. So I put on just a small amount, I put it all over my face and I included my neck let that sit for seven minutes. So it says three to seven minutes. I let it sit for seven minutes. It worked so well. My foundation went on beautifully. It is so smooth. Like I said, I've been using this for about a week and I really, really like it. So it does have a little bit of a tint to it and it is supposed to um, blur your pores and imperfections. It is a universal tint. So it corrects the look of uneven skin tone. Did I find that? Not really. I feel like because I wear foundation anyways, I'm not so worried about evening out my skin tone because I do that with my color corrector and my concealer. So I didn't find that it dries out your skin. I didn't find that it, some people were saying that they found that it kind of collected in different areas of their face and then made it look dry. So I think if you do have dry patches on your face, it doesn't matter what primer and, and foundation that you use, you're gonna see that. I always suggest exfoliating, but um, I didn't find that it did that. So really nice product. Does it live up to some of its claims? I mean, there are some pretty big claims on here. For me personally, if they're claiming that it tightens, yes, it does that. Does it blur your pores? Yes, it blurs your pores. Does it minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles? I think it does. Um, so is it gonna give you like a facelift? These, these results on the box look super dramatic. I didn't find them to be that dramatic for me, but I have seen other people use it and it does, it does give you some really great results. So uh, would I recommend this product? Yes, 100% I would recommend this product and I feel like it works for any skin type. So because I am a little bit on the dry side, I thought for sure that this was gonna be too drying for my skin but it isn't. So the suggestion for me is that you put your skincare underneath of it. If you're dry, put all your skincare on first, give it a chance to sit and just let it absorb into your skin. I waited a half an hour, so I feel like if you have the time, wait a half an hour and then put it on. Really beautiful under your foundation, smooths out your skin, reduces the look of 
pores, reduces the look of fine lines, and really does do what it says it is going to do. So I think this product for me, I would give this product a 10 out of 10. I would 100% recommend this product to my friends, my family, anybody who is asking for a really good primer. This is a good one. So anyways, that's it for my video for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for notifications. Otherwise, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let me clean the screen, hold on. <laughs> looks a little messy.